Good evening. A group of campaigners are angry that there won't be an independent public inquiry into alleged historic child abuse in Nottinghamshire. They claim police and council bosses are conducting an internal review without the involvement of many survivors. The authorities say any review will be subject to full independent scrutiny, but one survivor's group says only a public inquiry will get to the truth. Phil Brewster reports. For months now, these campaigners have been calling for an independent public inquiry into alleged sexual abuse in Nottinghamshire. They say the sheer scale of people coming forward, claiming they were abused at care homes across the city and county, means it's essential. It will give the survivors their voice. It will give them what we're looking for, which is that kind of cathartic effect. It will begin to establish what the facts are. Recently, they thought they'd had a breakthrough after meeting in Nottingham with police and the heads of children's services from the city and county councils. But instead of discussing the framework of an inquiry, David Hollis claims the authorities told him they were conducting an internal review, a position that's left these survivors deeply unhappy. Because you're not engaging survivors, it will feed into their narrative that they are continuing to protect their own. Um, and we won't break through this, this en passe. In 2011, Nottinghamshire Police launched Operation Daybreak to investigate allegations of historic abuse relating to the former Beechwood Care Home in Mapley. In April this year, a second investigation, dubbed Operation Zeres, was launched into allegations of historic child abuse at a number of different care facilities across the county. So far, two people have been charged with offences and are currently being processed through the courts. Three people are on police bail pending further inquiries and detectives say they're currently investigating allegations of abuse by more than 200 people. Police and council bosses say they do want more alleged victims to come forward, but that any process mustn't prejudice the criminal investigation or undermine the prospect of securing convictions. Nigel O'Mara disagrees. He represents White Flowers, an organisation which supports and campaigns for the rights of child abuse victims. He believes the decision by the authorities not to hold an open public inquiry is a mistake. I think they, they have a fear of interaction, uh, fearing that it might get out of control. But I don't think they've got anything to fear from us. We, we really want the same things at the end of the day. We want a good, open and honest inquiry and some good results to come out of it. Nottinghamshire's Police and Crime Commissioner agrees survivors should be involved in the process but says it can't be rushed. At the end of the day, what do survivors want? They want to see people taken to court, found guilty and go to prison. And we mustn't engage in a process that threatens that. And there's a potential of doing that. It's not impossible, but we need to be careful about it. You should hang your heads in shame, councillors! Others, though, are impatient. Mickey Summers, who alleges he was abused in a Nottingham City care home in the 1960s, has led protests calling for an inquiry, on this occasion disrupting a meeting of the City Council. We'll fight relentlessly to the bitter end in the hope that we do get that inquiry. It means so much, not just to myself, but for the other survivors that have come forward. The police, City and County Council say that once the initial internal review is complete, a serious case review will then be conducted by a safeguarding children board using independent report authors, panels and chairs. In a statement they told ITV News Central, we do not shy away from these allegations and will not rest until we have got to the bottom of what happened in the past. Since the police investigation began, many people have come forward to give statements. But for these campaigners, only an independent public inquiry will give a true picture of what really happened. At the end of the day, we all want the, the same thing. We all want better safeguarding for our young people. We won't get that if we cut out bits of the community and tell them that they don't have a voice.